This is the drive home with Zap and CT for the Mill Drive Home, driving home from the den where it finished Millwall 1, West Bromwich Albion 1. 1 1. Um, a game I'm not sure how we didn't win. Well, I do know why we didn't win because we didn't take our chances. Uh, we give away a very weak penalty and the ref was a complete plank not for the penalty it was, I think it was a penalty although it was weak but um, we could have had two or three penalties ourselves that um, the Sheffield Wednesday referee um, didn't uh, didn't give us but obviously uh, I felt like it was a decent performance first half decent second half not so decent you know West Brom had a lot of uh, possession a lot of um, time on the ball but created very very little you know their main chances came from um, came from set pieces, came from corners. I think they had one chance after the penalty. They, they didn't really create much. But obviously, if you're here, thank you very much for watching um, the Mill Drive Home. We really appreciate it. We're going to be driving up to Rotherham on Easter Monday. Uh, happy Easter to one and wall. And um, we're going to do a question and answer session. If you if you, if we get enough questions, we'll, we'll we'll do it. So if you've got any questions that you want to ask me and Zach, stick it in the comments for this game. And we'll um, and we'll answer it on the way up to Rotherham. Give us something to do with the three and a half hour drive what, what? Uh, up, yeah, up the A1. And um, so we'll we'll go back for it. We'll obviously, if you don't mind, put a like on the video, stick your comments in below, and um, we'll you know we'll answer the uh, like I said, we'll answer the question and yeah. subscribe to the Mill Drive Home. Where are we at? So to be fair. One thing that I'll say before we talk about the game is that everyone that I talked to to about the Leeds game, everyone that went to the Leeds game, everyone that watched it on TV, said that even though Leeds beat us 2-0, we, we put in such a good performance and it shows what Harris has really done to the side. He's made us press, he's made us push, he's made us really want the ball instead of a... Yeah, well, we don't have much of the ball under Harris, yeah. but I, I think that you know we've got a different mentality in the team, you know, we, we keep things a little bit more simple. Um, you know, a couple of standout players, standout players today. You know, I thought Leonard was excellent, Savile was excellent, uh, Honeyman, you know, really, really good. Put himself about. And if we had, like I said, if we had players that could put the ball in the back of the net, um, we'd be uh, we'd have won the game. We uh, started off with uh, Sarkic in goal. I think it was one change from the Leeds game with um, Watmore coming in for. Uh, Brooks Norton Cuffey and that proved a, a great a great change because Watmore got the goal um, we started from like I said Sarkic in goal back four of right back was Ryan Leonard you had Tanganga Cooper left back was Joe Bryan in front of them you had Savile and, and Billy Mitchell I know a lot of people asking for Denor a lot of people you know not sure why Brooks Norton Cuffey are not playing and you can argue and for me the biggest one is the fact that Longman comes on I don't I, I really don't know what he what he does he must um, he must work really hard in training because what he shows in matches is is very very little but um, we had what more on the right Honeyman no sorry Honeyman yeah well what more on Honeyman either right or left Fleming in behind uh, over Femi and um, I, like I said I, I was really impressed with the uh, the the way we played today, I felt that we were on the front foot. The the goal comes early on. You know, it's a Ryan Leonard throw. It actually comes off a West Brom player, goes through to Watmore, who's one on one with a goalkeeper. The goalkeeper's in a pretty poor position, but Watmore still got a bit to do, and um, he he does finish he just it. Lobs it over, yeah, him, he just chips he? it over his legs, which was um, you know a really good finish from him. Uh, and to, to put us one nil up. And Many Championship players wouldn't have the quality to do that. No, and, and and he doesn't normally, you know, he's not known for his his finishing. So it was good to see him, you know, have a bit of composure in that instance. We needed it in the second half, and he didn't have the composure. And but we'll get onto that in a minute. Um, we then have a couple of penalty shouts. A, a really good one for it with a handball, a ball crossed in. I think it was from um, Leonard. He, he's drilled it. The player's not that close to him. He's about six yards away. And it's hit him on the arm, uh, no penalty given, which was uh, normal for this ref. And then the other one was um, a ball crossed in, and it's a—I uh, I don't know how he's not given it. To be fair, it's, you know, it's kind of cr a ball crossed in. It's a kind of chip ball, which means Fleming is coming in at the far post can attack it. Yeah, he's very—he's—he's he's normally quite good at them. And he goes to attack it, and he's got—he's got two two hands pushed in the back. It was just 
uh, fully pushed in the back, not nudged, fully pushed in the back, and it, and it, and it pushes him out of the way, he doesn't get on, on the end of the ball. And I, I, like I said, I really don't know how, um, how yeah. he hasn't given a penalty, but he didn't. They probably um, should have had a red card as well. Maybe, yeah. We were, but, fr- we were through on goal with Fleming. Or it might have been Duncan No, it was Moore. Fleming. No, it was oh, Fleming. Yeah, yeah. Fleming was through. And then one defender to two hands. Bartley just completely pushed him over. Fleming only had one player, and it he was about f- f- ten feet away, maybe. Yeah. So I'd... he had a, he had a very good chance, but yeah, there was an argument that it could have been. Yeah, there was an argument it could have been a red. Um, I'd have been disappointed if it was would have been given against us. But it, um, it again, it's one of those where you see him given. Um, and, and we say about the chances from the penalty, but the other the other big chance in in the half falls to Oberfemi, and it, you know it's a again just a, a ball over the top. West Brom's line was very high, considering they have a lack of pace in their defence. I was very surprised. I know we don't have great pace up front, but um, Oberfemi's pretty quick to be. And fair Watmore to him. is quite quick as well, and it just it, it seemed a baffling decision. Obviously, Corbyn was wanting to put us under pressure and um, keep us up the pitch, but. We kept getting in behind, and you know, Abafemi's just he's, he's one on one with a goalkeeper. The keeper is in absolute again this time. He's in a, a terrible, terrible position. No man's land. Abafemi has to drill it low or easier just to, to loop it over him, and he um, he just puts it straight into the goalkeeper's hands. It's literally like the goalkeeper coach was warming him up. Yeah, it was a, a horrendous finish. Um, you could say it was it was quite difficult in terms of you know the height that he took it at, but he should be scoring that, and that would have put us two 0 up. It was a game where I felt if we went two ahead, I, you know, I don't think West Brom would have got back into it um, for all their possession. Like I said, they created very very little. We um, we had the free kick from from the, 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 the aforementioned foul on Fleming that 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 didn't. Go. I think he just drilled it into the man that lays down behind the, the wall. Um, like I said, I can only remember West Brom creating a couple of chances from corners, which were um, easily dealt with in the first half. Second half, they had one where he ran near post and, he, and he's headed it over. Um, and we, sh- we, you know, again, we've had two glorious chances in the second half that we've got to be taking. The first one falls to Obafemi's in the box. You know, he's one on one with a defender. He's created a bit of space for himself and then just kind of forget, forgets how to play football and just kind of runs into the defender. And then the better chance. Was um, a bit of good football. We tackled the player, yeah, and then it's got passed across to Oberfemi. He's used the pace of the ball to pass it along to Duncan Watmore, and he's got no one around him. He's at the next the next defender is at least two meters away, and he's just rifled it over the bar. And it over he the should bar. be he should be doing a lot better. He, yeah, he, he's got to be. Yeah, for all for all the composure on the like I said on the goal, he's shown a complete lack of composure for that, and. Um, and it's disappointing because we, you know, again, like I said, we, we should have been two or three, three new up. And then we have another another c- c- kind of contentious a foul given on the edge of the box. It was really, really close to the edge of the box for us and um, it wasn't given. Uh, it was given, like I said, it was given outside the box rather than a, a penalty. Again, like I said, it was very, very close. And then... Um, we don't make nothing of that. Like I said, our set pieces wasn't wasn't good enough. West Brom, to be fair, have got a very very big side, and West Brom correct. Obviously, West Brom goal comes from the penalty. Uh, Brian, he, he sticks out a leg. The players turned him a bit, but he's in. He's, he's on the edge of the box, going nowhere. There's absolutely no need to make contact, even if he has made contact, um, and he's gone down. And. Uh, you know, the ref looks so excited and so desperate to point to the spot, he, and he does point to the spot straight away. Like I said, he looked he looked happy to do it. Points to the spot. Um, who, who took the penalty? Was it Swift? Yeah, Swift. Uh, Luckily, Jed had come off with that. Yeah, by that Jed, point. Jed had been Otherwise taken off. Uh... Yeah, he may well have taken it, and um, Swift put it into the bottom left hand corner, just outside the reach of Sarkic's hand, to send the you know reasonably loud West Brom fans. Um, obviously, they. They brought quite a few down on a on a on an Easter Friday. But even before they'd taken the penalty, they were singing Mill will get battered even though he was still one nil up yeah, at I that think, point. I think it's because they, they, they hit two Mill fans at one game at the Hawthorns. It's uh, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> it ain't gonna be much more than that. But um it's, it seems like a quite a popular song. I think it's tried to tries to wind us up, but um never mind this. It is what it is. That's doesn't football, do much football banter for you. Um West Brom created one more chance after that. It was a shot outside the box, and he's, he's left-footed, and he's just curled it straight into Sarkic's hand, an easy save. 
we did not create enough after the West Brom goal. We kind of sat in. Like I said, Longman's come on. I thought the subject, what more looked like his race would run in about the you know forty fifth minute. And um, Savile was yeah, Savile was now. Well, like I said, they, they've all put they've all put an absolute shift in. Um, what are you doing? You absolute one one by one. Sorry about that. Trying to get into the Rotherham Tunnel. Um, some drivers do have them, and yeah, so we, we just didn't create enough, and that's that's our problem. Um, who was your man of the match today? It is a hard one today. I think probably Ryan Leonard because of the absolute shift he put in. He so many slide tackles, so many standing tackles. Just he put his body about, and he it was a classic Ryan Leonard in yeah, right back he's, performance. He is he is a he's a difference maker. Danny Mac come on well, we done well. Like I said, Joe Bryan's got to be disappointed. He just doesn't. Uh, he got booked early in the game. It was a. It was probably a booking. Yeah, it was definitely he a booking. Worked it yeah, out. it did. It was a. It was definitely a booking. There weren't many bookings given after that, but. Um, well, there should have been with some of the challenges they put in. Yeah, but uh, we'll, we'll leave it there. Like I said, we're driving into the Rotherham Rive Tunnel. Slow moving today on the uh, on on the Good Friday, but thank you very much for for watching. I I, I felt that um, my man in the match was. Probably, I'd probably agree, Savile. I think Savile put in a shift, mm. but Honeyman done really well. If they played the 90 minutes, it would have been Honeyman. Mm. Um, thank you very much for watching uh, the Mill Drive Home. Like I said, if you want to put your um, questions in below and we'll answer them up, it can be as mundane as something you want to know about us, a favourite game or whatever. That's completely up to you. If you, if you don't bother putting questions in, we won't bother answering them. So, um, thank, like I said, thanks for watching the Mill Drive Home. It's only one way we can end it. No one likes us. We don't care.